Hi guys, so this is going to be a quick video review of the Sargent's aftermarket seat for the second generation SV650. Um, I'm going to be using the Sargent seat to replace this OEM Suzuki gel seat. And what I have here is actually the OEM um, passenger seat with a Sargent seat cover installed. So the seat cover doesn't really add any type of um, substantial amount of padding, but it's mainly included for the, for the design so that you can have a passenger seat that matches the Sargent seat. Um, so I basically had two major problems with the OEM gel seat. The biggest problem is that I found the seat to be really uncomfortable after two or two and a half hours of riding. And I think the problem really stems from the fact that the seat is really thick and it has no type of groove all the way through, as you can see in this side shot. And so what this, I mean... What I felt is that um, the seat really puts me in a much higher riding position than I would like to be. And because there's no groove or indentation uh, in the seat, I kind of feel almost unstable sitting on top of it. And the biggest and the second biggest problem with the seat is that it gets really, really hot when you leave it out in the sun. So normally I park my bike outside my office for maybe six or seven hours at a time. And on sunny days when I come back out, I find it's almost unbearable to sit back on it. So those two factors drove me to look for an alternative aftermarket seat. And the two biggest brands that I found out there uh, for the SV are Corbin and the Sargent. And honestly, I probably could have gone either way, but I decided to go with a Sargent because I found a really good deal on a used one. So um, yeah, if anyone has actually tried the Corbin seat and really like it, I, th I mean, I would really like to hear about it. Um, so my Sargent seat is actually installed on my bike right now, so I'm going to head out there now and show you guys how it looks installed in the SV. And you can also get a side-by-side -side comparison of the um, Sargent seat versus the uh, OEM gel seat. And I think um, the biggest difference you'll note on the Sargent seat is that the back end is actually much flatter. So, this really, that, so that really puts you in a much lower riding uh, riding height and it's a lot more comfortable because with the flat flatter back end with the groove on longer rides you can actually scooch back on the sergeant seat and sit a lot more comfortably on the back than you could on this gel seat and when you're on you know twisty twistier roads or when you want to ride more aggressively you can actually move further up on the sergeant seat and um, the sergeant seat is a lot more comfortable in the front end too so let's go outside now and I'll um, show you how it looks like I'm installed on my SV Hi guys, so this is the sergeant seat installed on my SV650. So you can see it just has a lot lower profile than the OEM gel seat. Um, the back end is a lot is a lot lower and it also has this nice groove that I like to sit back on on um, longer rides. And the front end also has a lot less curvature upwards. So it's a lot more comfortable to ride up front than on the OEM gel seat. And overall, I think the design is a heck of a lot better than the OEM gel seat. So, I would highly, I mean, I highly recommend the Sargent seat, um, based on my experience with it so far. Um, the price point could be a little high if you buy it new, but used, I think you can find it for well under 200 if you look hard enough. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I want to say about the Sargent aftermarket seat. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below or message me, and I'll definitely get back to you. Thanks.